and put the very best on display. cut across the, the paintings collection, uh, showing British and New Zealand works up to about 1955. So it's really just a smattering of, uh, but just a, a sort of a sample of what we hold. 50 works in the collection, but it's the McDougall's 60th birthday, so why the difference? Well, the reality is that uh, we just don't have the space, and this is one of the reasons why we don't get the collection on the wall quite so often. And, of course, because it's 60 years, we thought that perhaps this would be a good year to bring more of the collection up, and that over the next few months, we hope to have more installations from the collection. How many paintings are there in the permanent collection? Well, there? there's over 3,500 works total. And do you have any particular favourites, and are there any valuable paintings? Well, of course, there are valuable works within the collection. Uh, we consider they're all valuable. Uh, <laughs> Uh, we don't, in a, in a sort of museum world, we don't really rate them in monetary terms. You know, their quality, um, you know, is in the painting. So they're all valuable to us. And is the collection still being added to? Oh, yes, yes. We add um, upwards of 100 plus works a year. Not always paintings, but uh, we, we add every, every year, certainly, yes. Over here we have a number of... of uh, Victorian works, um, Charles Leslie and Henrietta Ray. Um, they are in the in the sort of uh, typical Victorian uh, treatment. There's a lovely one round here with some cows. Yes, Avery Brown. Yes, this is um, he's an artist of uh, of some uh, some significance in terms of. Uh, imagery out of doors in the, in the British landscape. He did a lot with clouds and a lot with the, with the Norfolk landscape and he painted a lot in Norfolk. It's not so much a specific exhibition, it's an installation, as it were, out of the collection, which um, in itself is, is a rarity these days with us. Um, so I suppose in a way it's, it's a bit special in that sense. Um, but I think the thing about it is that it's an opportunity for uh, for people in Christchurch to see some of the things that they own uh, in, in terms of art. The display from the permanent collection continues until the May, was it May the 13th. Every Tuesday I'm going to try and put together a kind of a community notice board what's happening around town and that's